All right, so get this. We're kicking off today's deep dive yeah. with something you might not expect. Oh. Kylie and Kendall Jenner's outfits. All right. At Haley Bieber's road party. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? Like, on the surface, it seems a little, I don't know, maybe a little frivolous. Yeah. But trust me. Okay. Stick with us. Because, like, this whole thing, this fashion moment, uh -huh. it kind of opens up this window mm -hmm. into, like, internet culture. Right. Meme creation. Yeah. And uh, I guess how we react to, like, everything these days. Absolutely. I mean, this is, uh, we're not just talking about, like, fabric and hemlines here. Right. It's about how how those very specific fashion choices yeah. become these, like, lightning rods in the online world. Totally. It's like, it's like they can't just wear clothes. It has to be, like, a whole statement. Exactly. So, okay, to set the scene, um, Haley Bieber, she's launching a new road product, right? There's a party. Of course, yeah. And the Jenner sisters show up looking well Jenner very Jenner-esque yeah and the article we've got uh it really highlights the contrast oh interesting between the two yeah you know Kylie brawless in this plunging black top uh-huh and Kendall she went more classic right but like still revealing mm -hmm. in like a cutout dress right right and the internet mm. Oh, the internet. Went wild. I they know. had a field day. It was, it was a lot. It's interesting. You know, thinking back to that um, that Met Gala. Oh, yeah. With Kylie in that feathered Versace dress. Oh, I can't. It practically broke the internet. It did. Memes, crom dress trends. Uh, totally. Yeah, it was everywhere. And that's the kind of power I think the Jenners, they just wield yeah. when it comes to fashion. 100%. It's like their outfits aren't just seen. They're like, oh. Dissected, oh. debated, turned into memes. It's it's like yeah. they're walking, talking, yeah. trend generators. Yeah. And this road party was no different, like at all. The article mentions how some people were like praising their boldness. Others were like criticizing their choices, saying it was immature. Yeah. And then others were just like cracking jokes. Right. The whole thing was just like so divisive. It's crazy. I think it speaks to a few things, like the multifaceted nature of their influence, but also to the internet's just inherent need to categorize and react. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like you're either Team Kylie, Team Kendall. Totally. Or Team, oh, why are we even talking about this? Exactly. And I think it's that last category where the humor really starts to bubble up. Which, okay. Yeah. This brings us to, um, there was this bacon comment bacon yeah okay in the article someone likened one of the outfits to bacon oh right i know it's it's absurd yeah but it's also like so perfectly illustrative of how the internet just uses humor like mm. often bordering on ridiculous right to process like these events absolutely i mean this is classic meme culture in action yeah you think about the distracted boyfriend meme uh -huh. or the countless variations of drink posting right right we take these often mundane images events and we just like inject them with humor social commentary or just like plain silliness yeah it's a way to connect with other people, to cope with the constant flow of information. Yeah. And even to critique the very things that we're engaging with. It's like we're all kind of collectively saying, yes, this is frivolous. Yeah. But we're going to find the humor in it anyway. Exactly. So if we, like, take a step back, it's clear that this isn't really about the outfits themselves, is it? Not at all. Right. This whole scenario, it's like a microcosm of our, our obsession with celebrity the power of social media to amplify even like the smallest events yeah. and the like the complex ways we use humor to navigate this online world it's it's a lot it is and the jenner's outfits they're just like the catalyst for a much bigger conversation exactly i mean if you wonder you know what other like seemingly mundane events are actually reflecting like these bigger trends and cultural shifts mm. are we reading too much into this or is like everything a potential meme just waiting to happen. That is the question, isn't it? It is. And maybe the answer lies not in the events themselves. Yeah. But in how we choose to engage with them. That's a really good point. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think that's something for everyone to think about. Definitely. All right. Well, that's our deep dive for today. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks for having me.